Dang, it's too bad I suck at building. Oh well, good thing there's free models here to just be able to insert whatever I need. Awesome, let me go ahead and play test my place now. Wait a minute, why the heck did I just die? What the heck? Oh no, everything has been infected by Ryguy. What's going on? Hey guys, this is Ryguy Gaming here today with a quick video. Please excuse my bad acting there at the beginning. But today I'm going to be teaching you something that can be pretty helpful. If you've been a subscriber of my channel for very long, you probably know my disdain for free models. If I can avoid them, I'll not use them at all, but I am a bad builder. And sometimes you do just get infected crap. It's a little less common now that build mode has been dead for years, but sometimes you still get infected things. And today I'm just going to be showing you a script that will help you be able to get rid of any malicious scripts that might be inside of anything you import. Now, please note, this will not work if the item you're importing is supposed to have a script. So say you import like a Tycoon starter kit or something and it's infected, the method I'm going to show you won't work. You can still remove the virus. It will just be a lot more tedious process. You'll have to go through every single part of the script and check every single block and everything and every single script to find out where the virus is and then delete it and that's annoying but if you just have something like this that's just for looks there's actually a quick way to get rid of virus scripts so as you can see here I've hidden a virus in here let's see if I can remember where I put it okay here it is see it's right here but there's a ton of parts in this thing. It probably would have taken me forever to find it if I didn't know where I put it. I could have put it in any one of these parts, especially since most, oops, that's the wrong thing. But especially since most of them have like extra items and um, all of them are collapsible. So this would just be really annoying to look through. So all you have to do to be able to get rid of malicious scripts like these is to make sure that you have your command bar down here visible. You see this giant text box stretching across the bottom of my screen. In order to get that, just come up here to view and you're going to want to make sure that you can see your command bar, this one right here. So just make sure this is depressed and then it shows up at the bottom. Then we're just going to do a simple one line command. You can see right here. I've This is where I've stuck it out into like a normal looking script so that it looks a little normal so you can see what it's actually doing. But basically, let me stretch this out a little bit. All we're doing is we're just going through our imported asset and for every item inside of it, we're just going to be looking for anything with the class name of script and then deleting it. So this is why it won't work if your item needs a script for something else. But if your item is just like a boat or a house or something that doesn't need any scripts, this will work great. Let me go ahead and copy this one line version that will be down in the description. Basically, you just delete all the enters and smash it into one line and I'll paste that in here. And let me go ahead and expand this so that you can see um, that it will get rid of it. So there it is. One more thing before I do this. For this to work for you, I should have mentioned this. Just change whatever is inside Find First Child to the name of your model. So my model's name is Observation Tower. You can see your model's name might be like Spaceship or something. Just go ahead and paste it into the command bar and hit enter. You should see it pop up in the output right here in gray, but you'll notice that the virus script is now gone and we didn't have to dig through it all. If I, I would have just had it like this, it would have worked exactly the same. Um, this can also be helpful if you want to remove all the scripts from your game. I did this recently when making the Ryguy Gaming Museum to make the little miniatures of my places. As you can see here, I have these little miniatures and all I did was shrink down the actual places so that they would fit in here, but they're like really the places, they're just shrunk down. And so I just basically used this script and instead of doing find first child, I just deleted that and did game.workspace get descendants. So then it removes every single script from your game. And so that way 
you won't have scripts running if you just want to do a little miniature like this. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Of course, I'm not going to show you how the virus script works. We don't need more of those. Funnily enough, it kind of works on a similar principle, but I'm still not going to show it to you. Maybe if you want, you can come join my Discord server and ask me about it. And if I like you, I'll show you. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any questions, please be sure to post them down in the comments. I look forward to doing more videos for you guys this year than last year. Hopefully this new year and new decade brings some good content from me and gets me motivated. I hope you all had a great new year. I hope you have a good year and a good day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.